Hey there, Skeptical Root. I want to talk about Kathy Griffin and Reza Aslan and Bill Maher. I was going to do a 20 arguments for the existence of God today. I'm going to talk about this instead. I'll do one of those for next week, maybe midweek. I'll get one of those out. I do agree with, to some extent, with Dusty Smith uh, from Cult of Dusty that we can't let religion go just because, uh, whatever. Uh, it is still a big factor. Radical Islam and just Islam in general, I think, like anything that we believe that's not true needs to be challenged and we can't let people get away with because it's culturally acceptable to just keep pushing their stupid ideas on the rest of us or even on themselves. I mean, frankly, but I'm going to do a thing here instead. Uh, so let's start with the facts. Uh, Kathy Griffin did a photo shoot where uh, one of the, the sets of photos was her holding a bloodied head of Donald Trump uh, looking like Donald Trump. Uh, that came out before it was supposed to be released, but there was a lot of backlash and people lost their minds and a lot of screaming and complaining. Donald Trump tried to play victim with this and it just made me mad, but I don't for the life of me believe for half a second that Baron Trump saw the picture and thought maybe that was his real dad. I couldn't tell who it was the first time I looked at it because of all the blood over the face and the hair wasn't right. And it's like, is that okay? That's supposed to be Donald Trump. Okay, whatever. My point being though, so what? Who cares? It's just as dumb as the people with lynching Obama and, and really going back before that, you didn't have people making effigies of, in this country, at least, of the president and, and killing them. Uh, but still, who cares? You don't have to have respect for the office of the president. You should, mind you. But you don't have to. There's no law for that. There's no rules. There shouldn't even be social stigma associated with it, necessarily. I can tell you that I think it's stupid. But then what? What? I think it was dumb, mostly dumb because it doesn't really say anything. Is she saying that she's wants to be part of ISIS? No. Uh, I think that Trump was the wrong president to do that to only because he's a spoiled little baby and then will try to do something with whatever's in his power to retaliate against the crazy leftists or whatever thing he's got going for him, but I, I don't see this as a big deal. Bill Maher, same week, uh, also made a comment that he wasn't a house nigger when the, I think it was the Kansas governor said something about him having to he should come out and join him in the field, uh, Nebraska. Uh, Nebraska Senator Ben Sass, Sassy. Uh, I don't think that Bill Maher's joke was, no, how do I put this? No one should have been offended by Bill Maher's joke. Uh, and this goes back to the whole words have meaning thing. Words have meaning that it's intended to convey messages to one another. And we assign meanings to those words so that we can clearly communicate the ideas that we have in our heads to one another. We all know what a nigger is in the context that Bill Maher was using it. And I think that frankly, if you're offended because he's a white person using the term, then you should also be offended when people of color or black people in particular use that term. Bill Maher isn't... Is Bill Maher Canadian? Let's see, where's Bill Maher from? Where is Bill Maher from? 
Maybe he's not Canadian. Yeah, he's from America. Okay. Uh, who am I thinking of that's Canadian? Eh, doesn't matter. The, the, the point I'm making, though, is, I mean, Bill Maher did never own slaves. Bill Maher, in his lifetime, nigger has not been an appropriate term for black people. At some point, we have to let the term go, much like Italians have let go of the term WAP, which was an abbreviation for without papers just as they flooded the U.S. It, on the heels of them came in the, the, the Irish, who were called any number of things. Uh, none of them just matter. None of them matter. There is a, a select small segment of the black community that somehow thinks that a term that was used daily by an entire generation of people who are no longer alive should still hold any power is just absurd. Uh, any more than, than calling, oh, insert group here with some, you know, other type of slur that has nothing to do with who they are now, calling a Jew a kike or something like that. I mean... The words only have power because we give them power. We allow them to have meaning beyond what they're supposed to be. And that causes problems because then we have to, the word no longer means what we think it means. It means what people interpret it to mean. And then you get into interpreting people's meanings instead of listening to what they're saying. I, I, I could rant about messages and, and speaker biases and things like that until I'm blue in the face. But at the end of the day, God, I hate saying that phrase. I'm, I'm stuck in my head now. <laughs> when all is said and done, uh, or when all things are accounted for, or something like that, it's still just a word. If he feels like he should apologize for it, which he eventually did, did uh, that's fine. If he didn't, that would also be fine. People asking him to, to be removed from his, from HBO and to have a show canceled, that's as dumb as... as, as uh, I can't even remember her name anymore. Uh, winning Colbert canceled. Sui Park. Sui Park. One in the cancel Colbert hashtag. Dumb. Doesn't mean anything. On that same note, and in an unrelated way, because I, I had actually do have favorable uh, opinions of Bill Maher and Kathy Griffin. Reza Aslan, uh, what did he say to... Uh, he called Trump a, a piece of shit in a tweet. Uh, he's then backtracked that and apologized, and I don't think he should have either. Uh, if that's his opinion, he should stick with it, and he should go with it. I just think that he's... I, I, I don't like Reza. Uh, he's, an, he's an Islam apologist. He's a liar. Uh, he's a conflator of facts. And... But I think that he should be able to say whatever, if he feels that strongly about Donald Trump's tweet about the attack on the London Bridge, which happened, I believe, yesterday, uh, today being June 4th, uh, 2017. Uh, the tweet was from today, so... <clears throat> no, his apology was today. It must have been yesterday. The point is... If that's how he feels, that's how what he should say. He does not... He should not have to apologize for that. If he feels a need to clarify, he should add more words to it. He shouldn't try to take the words back. Important reminder to people to probably... To try to use words that you mean. And not ones you think will have impact. Life is more boring that way. But then you don't have any regrets either. That's it. So, like, comment, share, subscribe. All three people are fine. People should stop apologizing for stuff they don't need to apologize for. Or if they don't feel like they actually should apologize. Kathy Griffin apologized. Um, 
because of the backlash. Okay, I get it. It wasn't her thing, but she went along with it. Unlike Bill Maher. Bill Maher should have really told people to just shut up and go home. But he caved into the social pressures, which I don't think he should have done. I guess same with Reza. You know, God. Whatever. The point being... The point being... I've said that enough times. Get the fuck out of here. Goodbye, and hello, as always. It doesn't... Yeah. Mm-hmm.